Are you looking for some Christmas cheer this weekend? Why not head over to Lancaster and check out the night before Christmas show at the Lancaster Opera House. Joining us now is the artistic and executive director, David Bondro, to chat more about the show. We're so glad to have you with us, and I know you are so glad to have this show back this oh, year. Oh, yes. It's our, it's our locally written, uh, original Christmas interactive family musical, and we haven't done it in a couple of years because of the pandemic, and we're ready to welcome everybody back. What can people expect from the show? It's an hour-long show geared towards the young and the young at heart. You've <laughs> got to join Jake and Chelsea, the special, the special Christmas wish where they go and help Santa save Christmas from the evil frost giant and the toy master. And it's interactive and you play reindeer games and sing and dance. It's, it's a lot of family fun. I love it. And the, the whole thing with, with coming to the Opera House is getting a chance to see the Opera House yes. as well. Gorgeous, 1897 it was built. It, it just, you, you take a step back in time, all the beautiful architecture and the woodwork, and we just finished The Sound of Music, and I've already seen all these kids in the building just mesmerized. And wait till you, wait till you come and see this show this weekend. It's a ton of fun. And it's been a while since you've been able to have the, that is. kind of energy in that building. It is, two, two years. I mean, th with the pandemic, I mean, we were completely closed. And then we reopened uh, midway last season, and now we're back in full swing that the sound of music was completely sold out and we're ready to have a ton of kids in the building this weekend <laughs> and we're, we're back. It's and I great. know you want to get through this weekend first, but there's a big season ahead too. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, right after right after the first of the year, uh, if you are an Elvis fan, it's Elvis's birthday weekend. So on the sixth, we are featuring Elvis Lives with Bruno Neshi, and I am told by his manager he just won. Uh, he's fourth in the world oh, wow. in, in terms of an Elvis impersonation in a contest that he won in Graceland. So you're you're getting as close to the real deal as we can provide. As can. And before we let you go, uh, a unique gift idea is you have gift cards for the Opera House. We do. Gift cards, any, any denomination, they don't expire. So if uh, you want to give somebody the gift of live theater, now that we can interact again <laughs> after this awful pandemic, it's, it's an amazing gift. All right. Awesome. David, thanks so much for joining us and good luck this weekend. And we look forward to, to more shows down the road. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Right now we're going to get a quick check.